the common flight takes an unexpected turn when army troops board the plane. When Denny board this plane would never have imagined how this flight would be one to remember. A series of events made this flight unforgettable, not only for Denny himself, but for the rest of the passengers, too. Make sure not to miss number 15, number 11, and number 9. It was just an ordinary day for Denny Kukic who was about to board the plane. He was used to flying, and this trip was no different from his previous ones, or that was what he thought. This flight was about to be one of his most memorable. Click next to find out more. No one likes long flights as everyone wants to get to their destination as fast as possible. Moreover, long flights are a bit boring, but thankfully Denny knew exactly what to do to pass his time. The most important advantage he had was the fact that he was a heavy sleeper so he could sleep through the flight. However, once Denny board the plane, he just started watching the other passengers boarding. As he was watching the passengers boarding the plane and trying to find their seats, he noticed something that wasn't a common thing to see in an airliner. He saw a troop of soldiers boarding one after the other, and he counted about ten of them. The soldiers took the seats all around Denny, and he was very fascinated by all this. When the plane took off, Denny started reading his book, but it was a really long flight, so he couldn't help himself and started a conversation with the soldiers sitting around him. As they were chatting, the soldiers informed him that they were heading to Petawawa, but that wouldn't be their only destination. As the soldiers told Denny, they were in a training program, and after Petawawa, they would go to Afghanistan. Denny was really curious to learn more about them, but it was time for lunch. Denny hadn't realized how the time had passed as he was really enjoying the discussion with the soldiers. That's when the flight attendant announced they were about to start distributing lunches. The cost of each bag of lunch was $5, and Denny thought he could try some. Denny started looking for money in his wallet along with many other passengers who wanted to buy lunch, too. However, he couldn't help to hear the discussion between the soldiers about the lunches, and what he overheard shocked him. The soldiers were discussing about the lunches, and they were asking each other if it was worth it to buy something to eat. They decided that they were too expensive, and that they would wait until they reached the military base. But the trip was really long. They didn't want to spend $5 for a snack lunch, so they were willing to wait hours until they can eat at the military base. Denny also thought that the lunches were pricey, but there were a lot of hours until they would reach their destination. As the flight attendant started giving the snack lunches, Denny got a little bit disappointed because for $5, there wasn't as much food as expected. However, he thought that he couldn't do otherwise, so he bought one and started eating. But, while he was eating he noticed that not even one of the soldiers had bought any food. Denny was feeling really bad about the soldiers. Most of the passengers were enjoying their lunches while the soldiers were sitting just looking at other people eat. He couldn't take it anymore. He knew he had to do something for this situation. Denny couldn't stand that he and the other passengers could eat their lunches, and the soldiers who were the people that protect the country and their freedom would just sit there eating nothing while being surrounded by the smell of the food. He knew something had to be done. So, he stood up and went to find an flight attendant, and when he found one he just made her one question. Could you please give me 10 snack lunches? The flight attendant stood there in shock as he handed her a $50 bill. The flight attendant couldn't help but ask why he needed that many snack lunches, and when he explained to her the fact that there were 10 soldiers who couldn't afford to buy the food, her reaction was really unexpected. Denny would never have expected what the flight attendant would say to him. She grabbed my arms and squeezed tightly. Her eyes wet with tears, she thanked me. My son was a soldier in Iraq, it's almost like you are doing it for him. He said. After that, the flight attendant went to take the snack lunches, and Denny headed back to his seat. After a minute, the soldiers were pleasantly surprised as the flight attendant started giving them food. Denny didn't want them to find out who was behind all that, but the flight attendant approached him and asked him if he preferred chicken or beef. Now, he was the one who had no idea what was happening. Denny hesitantly told the flight attendant that he preferred chicken and watched her going to the front of the plane. When she came back she had a tray with a meal from the first class as a thank you for his kind act. Denny was shocked but very pleased that he helped the soldiers, so he started enjoying his delicious first-class meal. After what the flight attendant did, the soldiers along with many other passengers realized that he was the one behind the free meals. What happened next took him by surprise. While he was going to the restroom another passenger stopped him and handed him $25. Denny stood there speechless. It seemed like the other passenger was so moved from his kind act that wanted to give something, too. Denny didn't know what to do. However, the surprises were about to continue even more. As he went back to his seat, he saw someone else coming towards him. He was the pilot. Denny had no idea what the pilot could possibly want to say to him, and he felt a bit uncomfortable with the whole situation. When the pilot approached him, he greeted him and thanked him for his kind act. As he told Denny the pilot himself was once a soldier before becoming a pilot. Denny's action touched him deeply in the heart, and he wanted to come personally and thanked him. 
However, that's not all. The pilot told him that when he was a soldier a stranger had done the same thing for him and he could never forget it. After that everyone started clapping and whistling in order to show Denny their respect for his action. But still, the whole thing didn't even end there. As he was walking up and down the plane, two passengers gave him $25 each. He now had $75 in his hands. He couldn't believe what was happening and he didn't think that his action would cause all of that. Denny didn't know what to do at first with the $75, but after landing, he decided that the soldiers needed the money more than him. Their base was still far away and some extra money might seem helpful. This story became known to social media and everyone was very touched by Denny's kind action and they wrote positive comments in order to thank him. However, there were others that were more suspicious about the story and didn't believe that all of this happened. They claimed that it sounds too extra to be true. We will never know if all of this was true, but the one thing we have to keep from this story is that it's nice to help people and show some interest in the person sitting next to you.